Southside High School, I certify that all the members of the class of 2023 have met the requirements set forth by the state of Indiana and the Fort Wayne Community School Board of Trustees and should, should therefore be granted a diploma. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand, stay standed. It is indeed my privilege to now present to you the 101st graduating class of Southside High School, the class of 2023. At this time, I would ask everyone to stand, remove your hats for the playing of the national anthem performed by the Southside Band and Orchestra under the direction of Alyssa Newbill. Thank you. Everyone, you may be seated. Good evening, parents, family members, Dr. Daniel, Dr. Williams Robbins, Dr. Sprunger, Ms. Ramona Coleman, Ms. Rose Costello, Foreign Community School board members, Ms. Raleigh Booker, Ms. Julie Hollingsworth, teachers, honored guests, and soon-to-be graduates. I want to extend a warm welcome and thank you for being with us this evening. Before I address the seniors, I'd like to introduce our family, the elementary and middle school principals from our Southside Feeder Schools. I'd like each of them to stand and remain standing. Please hold your applause until the end and all have been announced. Frank Klein, Abbott Elementary. Shannon Rogers, Harrison Hill Elementary. Kara Miller, Indian Village Elementary. Brenda West, South Wayne Elementary. Elizabeth Kleber, Studi Elementary. Melissa Plum, Weiser Park Elementary. Claire Paul, Whitney Young Early Childhood Center. Mark Bailey, Kikiyanga Middle School. Brad Crozier, Memorial Park Middle School. Please join me in giving them a warm round of applause for all their help they have given you along the way. Thank you. Good evening, guests. I would first like to thank all the parents, grandparents, families, and friends of our Southside seniors who are with us tonight. Thank you for sharing, sharing your children with us and for choosing Southside High School as your school of choice. We know that you have many choices here in Fort Wayne when choosing a high school, and we here at Southside are honored that you have put your faith in us and allowed us to help continue the learning you started many years ago with these seniors. Seniors, at this time, I'm gonna ask you that you stand and join me in giving your parents and family members a round of applause for their unconditional support along the way. Please, seniors, stand. Thank you, you may be seated. Southside seniors, today is a special day. It's a special day for you as we welcome and celebrate the accomplishment of 12 years of hard work. Individually, you have all had to overcome your own obstacles along the way 
including two years of interrupted learning. But together you come here tonight as the graduating class of Southside High School. No matter how you got here this evening, whether your path was smooth, whether you took a windy road, whether you had a few detours at other schools, or maybe graduation was in question just minutes before we walked out here tonight. You collectively will always be tied together as the last, latest graduating class of Southside Archers. While tonight is special for you, it's also a special night for me as well. As a Southside graduate myself, I humbly stand before you this evening as the principal of Southside High School, celebrating you, the 101st graduating class in my first graduating class of seniors. At Southside, we talk a lot about family. The saying, it takes a village to raise a child, is definitely true in education. I would be remiss if I did not thank our Southside family, which includes our past principal, Mr. Adam Swinford, and the rest of the Southside administration, counselors, faculty members, feeder elementary and middle school staff, and our community partners for helping get you to this stage this evening. While this journey has included a lot of sweat and tears by a lot of people, we are proud to join you in your celebration this evening. I know for myself, it has been an honor to join you this past year to help guide you to the end. As I say end, tonight marks the end of one part of your life story. However, when one chapter ends, another begins. When we first met during our class meetings back in August, I shared with you my expectations for you, our senior class. I talked about how excited I was going to be going with you on this journey through your senior year and all the milestones we would have along the way. I shared how extremely proud and honored I would be to shake your hands this evening and congratulate you on earning your diploma here at your graduation ceremony. But if you remember, I was more concerned about what you would be doing the week after graduation. Today is definitely a milestone, a sense of accomplishment, something we should honor and celebrate, which we will do this evening. But your story does not end now. This is just one chapter in your book, and it's just the beginning of many unwritten opportunities for success each one of you has. Just as you took different paths to get here this evening, your story will take you in different directions moving forward. Some of you will be heading off to college, others will be joining the workforce, and a few of you will be protecting our freedoms in the military. That is what I'm most excited about. Each of you has the ability to be great. E.E. E. Cummings said, it takes courage to grow up and become who you really are. Tomorrow, you start to write your next chapter of who you are. My challenge to you, the class of 2023, how will your next chapter be written? Your Southside family will always be here supporting you along the way, and we can't wait to read the rest of your story. Thank you seniors for allowing me to be part of this adventure with you, and congratulations. Just a reminder, once an archer, always an archer. Thank you again. I would now like to introduce our salutatorian for the class of 2023, Grace Gilley. Well, we made it. If you're anything like me, your life looks nothing like you thought it would freshman year. I mean, my life looks nothing like I thought it would six months ago, but it's a beautiful thing. I couldn't be happier with how my life has turned out so far, and I have the wonderful people in my life to thank for that. My friends, or as I like to call them, my IB survivors, they taught me that it's the small moments in life that make it worth living. It didn't matter that I had a mountain of work to do, because looking back, all I remember are the good times. Like pulling a prank on Mr. Baker, which he definitely enjoys but will always deny it. <laughs> Convincing Miss Riley to let us play Just Dance again while she rolls her eyes and pretends to be annoyed. My friends and I photosynthesizing in the greenhouse during biology while Ms. Foltz once again assures us that humans don't photosynthesize and us picking on Buzzard pretty much 24 seven because he can't catch a break around us. I wouldn't trade these small moments for the world. 
As I go to college, I hope to keep cherishing these small moments in life because this year has taught me that those moments are what give life meaning. Thank you to my teachers, although I'm sure my classmates and I, especially me, were a lot to handle at times. I've gotten very close with many of you, and I value that relationship more than you know. Again, I can only hope to form these same bonds with my professors in college as I did with many of you. I want to give a special thanks to Mr. Buzzard. Coincidentally, I never had Mr. Buzzard as a teacher, but he still managed to teach me a thing or two. Aside from being an entertaining person to pull pranks on, he was also a daily inspiration to me. And I can only hope that one day, I will make an impact on others in the same way he impacted me. Lastly, I can't thank my parents enough. The only reason I stand here today is because of them and their unrelenting support. My mom is the epitome of a strong, self-sufficient woman, and I strive daily to be half the woman she is. It sounds cliche, but I seriously don't know what I would do without her. My dad, in addition to giving me my sense of humor, is the reason why the word impossible is not in my vocabulary. He's encouraged me to chase after every lofty goal I've had. Thank you, guys. As you can see, <laughs> I've been blessed with uplifting and passionate role models throughout my life. And I want you guys to stop and think about yours for a second. Where would you be without the people in your life? Who would you be without the people in your life? During this transitional period of our lives, take the time to appreciate your mentors and how far you've come because of them. Now that we stand here in our caps and gowns, that means it is our turn to be the role model. It is our turn to lead and inspire. It's a significant responsibility, but as I stand here looking at you all today, I know we're ready. As best-selling author John Gordon said, you are not a true success unless you are helping others be successful. It's our time. Let's pay it forward and make a difference. Congratulations to the class of 2023 for all you have accomplished and for all you will accomplish in the future. And now I pass it on to someone who has always challenged and inspired me throughout the years my best friend, and your valedictorian, Fiona gotch -Tostein. Hello, my name is Fiona Gottschdorf Stein. I'm the daughter of Tessa and Laura and a sister to Sid. I'm also a proud graduate of Southside High School. Throughout my life, I have been taught to love learning, to evolve, to become the best version of myself, and to embrace diversity. These ideals have been nurtured in my personal and academic life at Southside High School. I've learned so much here. Besides the nitty gritty of how to analyze a play like Hamlet, or how to do math on a unit circle, I've also learned how to cultivate friendships, to persevere. I've learned that our voice matters. The most impactful obstacle I've encountered in my pursuit of education occurred in fifth grade. My teacher left her position mid-year, so I had many substitutes throughout the last year of elementary. One sub in particular made this transition a bit more difficult for me. I'm a curious person. I love to ask questions. One day, I was told by my sub to put my hand down and stop asking questions for I asked too many. This shocked me the silence for the rest of this year. Being an academically driven student, no teacher has ever told me I asked too many questions. Instead, I was usually brought up, I was usually valued for bringing up class discussions or asking questions kids in the back were too scared to ask. Once I reached middle school, I realized I didn't want to be silenced again. I wanted to use my voice to speak up for others. As many of you know who are in classes with me, I'm constantly raising my hand. If I have a question or even just a comment, I'm never afraid to ask. This trait has been nurtured at Southside by my teachers as well as my peers. This has become an important life skill for me. Learning to not step down when I'm told to be quiet has given me the courage to speak up. Using my voice has turned me into a leader instead of a follower. There will always be people who want to shoot you down, who hate to see you succeed, who want to take what you have. You can't ever let these types of people get to you. 
As you navigate the next moments of your life, realize that your vision and your voice does matter. You matter. We are the leaders of our generation. While I feel that I have accomplished my goals out here at Southside, it was not always easy. Transitioning from middle school to high school was a huge challenge for me. I came home crying every day those first few weeks of high school. I felt I would never fit in or make any new friends, for many of mine from middle school went to different high schools. I remember going to the locker room to change for cross country practice freshman year, and I found an envelope with a letter inside my practice bag. This letter was from my mom, and I want to read you my favorite part. I've watched you find your way in a new school with new classes and new teachers, and this is hard stuff. And kid, you are tough. I'm watching you, and I'm proud of how you're hanging in. Remember, above all else, you're surrounded by people who love you and are cheering you on. This will get easier. Love, Mom. I have always felt loved by my family, but this letter had a special impact on me. I've kept it in my backpack all four years I've been in high school. I realize that my obstacles and my struggles are not just mine. It's something we all have in common. When life gets hard, it's important to have perspective, to realize that others may have deeper struggles to overcome. There will always be light at the end of the tunnel. This is where we are today. We've reached this light. We can bask in it, knowing that our hard work, our grit, and our determination has gotten us to this point in our journey. To everyone going into a new chapter in life, whether this is college, trade school, or right out to the workforce, there's always light at the end of the tunnel to look forward to. The most important thing to remember is that you are loved. I am thankful for the diversity that is Southside High School. I don't know of any other school where you can walk down the hallway and see so many different cultures and hear so many different languages. This has fostered tolerance and the desire to explore what is outside of us, outside of our bubble. This is a gift that I treasure. I want to say thank you to the staff at Southside High School for allowing me to learn so much more than just IB requirements. Thank you to the administrators, Mr. Harl, for ensuring a safe environment for us to learn. A special thank you to my teacher and coach over these four years, Mr. Buzzard. Thank you for always being supportive and encouraging, even after a bad run. Sorry about that time you had to call an ambulance when I had a panic attack during track practice sophomore year, but I know I can always count on you to be there for me. Thank you to my friends for creating such a large support system. I don't think I could have survived high school, let alone the full International Baccalaureate program without you guys. We were in the abyss together and it was helpful to be able to commiserate with each other. Look at us, we survived after all. Also, thank you to my boyfriend Jackson for always being my rock, allowing me to spend hours and hours on end doing schoolwork and never complaining, and forever having unconditional love and faith in me. I especially want to give my parents a huge thank you for supporting me in my personal strive for excellence and for giving me the tools to navigate the world with kindness, tolerance, and the fierce ambition it takes to create good. And to my sister Sid, thank you for always being a willing ice cream date with me after I had a hard day at school or at practice. If you take anything away from this speech, please know that you have the ability to create your own reality. Speak your truth. If you truly want something, never give up on it. If you stay focused with clear intentions, it will happen. This will get easier. There is no playbook to adulthood. You make it up as you go. You may stumble, but you will always rise up. You have the ability to create your life you want, and this is powerful. You are loved. And one more thing. As Mr. Worldwide once said, for everybody going through tough times, believe me, been there, done that. But every day above ground is a great day. Remember that. Congratulations to the graduating class of 2023. Thank you, Grace and Fiona. It is indeed an honor and pleasure to introduce our next two speakers this evening. The first speaker will be our Deputy Superintendent of Fort Wayne Community Schools, Dr. Faye Williams-Robbins, and immediately after Dr. Williams-Robbins will be Dr. Mark Daniel, the Superintendent of Fort Wayne Community Schools. Good evening. It is always my pleasure to have the opportunity to play a small part at graduations. Today is a special day where we recognize and celebrate the culmination of accomplishments made by you, 
as graduates. But it is not only the ending of your time in pre-K through 12th grade, but it's also a day of beginnings. It is our desire as a school district that the education and experiences you have received while with us have prepared you for far greater experiences and successes as you move into the next phase of your life. I want to thank the mothers, fathers, grandparents, uncles, aunts, brothers, sisters, and other caregivers for the opportunity to have served your family and worked alongside you in ensuring your graduate received a quality education. It has truly been our privilege. To the graduates, job well done. You deserve the accolades you will receive today and best wishes for a bright future. Thank you, thank you, Dr. Robbins. Great speeches. Thank you. I want to say that's what makes Fort Wayne Community Schools a great district. So let's give them another hand. Congratulations, class of 2023. Southside High School Archers. I am sure there are many times over the past four years when you questioned if this, if this day would ever come. Yours is a class that had the new normal high school experience because of pandemic era phenomena. So what lessons have you learned? We ask members of your class, what were the greatest lessons over the past four years? And here's what your peers said. The breaks and different way of school life helped me shape into who I am now. I have had time to really think about my future and work hard so I can get there. I also had time to think about who I want to be in this world and build the confidence up to get there. Another person said, now I'm a person who is more grateful for the people that I can always depend on. I find myself being more willing to try new things. Thirdly, having my first year of high school abruptly shortened was not ideal, but I learned a lot about myself, which made me a better person. It taught me to be flexible and helped me learn to accept and adapt to a challenging learning environment. Another person said, after it was all said and done and back to normal, it taught me to appreciate every blessing for what it is, instead of wishing it was different. It taught me to not constantly complain about things I have no control over. It taught me how to better adapt to new circumstances instead of living a static and rigid life. And lastly, I learned how to think outside the box, how to become comfortable doing uncomfortable things for me. You know, these are life lessons we all want to learn because I think that's what you need to have to be successful in a rapidly changing world. Your world is unlike the one your parents and grandparents grew up in. But because of what you have been through, you can already see that when you persevere, you can accomplish anything. Yes, you are equipped with the tools and mindset to take on the most challenging issues facing our community and the world. One very important way you can do that is by voting. This is the most powerful tool in a democracy. And I mention this because November 7th, 2023, you can directly support the safety of our schools and the well-being of our students and staff. You will make a difference. And in advance, I say thank you. So this past week, I had the opportunity of Big Brother or Big Brothers, uh, Big Sisters, to listen to Dick Vitell. Now, I don't really care for Dick Vitale, but I tell you, he's a pretty motivational guy. 
And you may not know him, but he's a sports commentator, he's a cancer survivor, and he's a member of six basketball Hall of Fames. He said simply this, you want to be a winner? There are three things that you need to have. One is passion. Passion's energy. Passion drives. Passion enables you to persevere. Perseverance, grit, that's Fort Wayne Community Schools. And lastly, pride. Pride in what you do. Pride in what you're about to do. So again, those three Ps. And I'll just say, what great advice. To see the wonderful things that are going to be accomplished by the members of your class. Thank you and best wishes. All right, before we hand out diplomas, we are going to do our alma mater, led by Mrs. Newbill. As the names are being read, we would ask that all applause be held so that each student can get the respect that they deserve on this great day. Thank you for your cooperation. Fiona Gottschalk Stein. Grace Gilly. Jacqueline Embry, Kailani Johnson, Theodore Pancake, Marari Williams, Elizabeth Aylward, Nathaniel Pickett. Muye Pei, Mason Brindle, Aram Jimenez, Samuel Katinsky, Abdiel Sedano. Javier Abarca Miranda, Abel Acevedo, Elizabeth Aguila, 
Yahir Aguirre. Kimberly Alcantar. Ozai Ali. Julio Almasan. Isaiah Anderson. Alyssa Angel. Lisbeth Arenavar. Ajane Barnhart. Annabella Barrera. Jada Beal. Jesus Beckler. Jack Beeman. Paris Bevel. Justice Billingsley. Marley Blaine. Amaya Bonner. Kendon Boone. Melanie Bordallo. Cameron Boughton. Devon Britt. Joni Britt. Kion Brooks. Tiana Bryant. Kamarion Cabell. Giselle Kentor. Marisol Cardoso. Roberto Carias. Matthew Castaneda. Kaira Kazi. Tavoris Chapman. Danae Clardy. Crystal Coates. Shalea Cobbins. Amrisha Coleman. Emma Collins. Mariah Cooley. Grachelle Cordero. Octavia Kotner. Jamari Craighead. Anastasia Crawford. Andini Cruz. Athena Cruz. Alexandra Cuevas. Jameer Curry. Harry Daw. Ezekiel Damien. Lucero Daniel Marquez. Ariana Davila Woosley. Michaela Davis. 
Christopher Delangel. Jesus Del Cid. Julian Deweese. Alvaro Diaz. Jorge Diaz. Liliana Diaz. Lisbeth Diaz. Morgan DiClemente Ross. Aisha Dean. Yaklin Dominguez. Cody Doolittle. Summer Eldridge. Josai Fa. Mackenzie Ferguson. Michael Fincher. Diamond Flakes. Erica Flores. Isabella Franco. Jermaine Freeman. Trinity Fritz. Evan Fugay. Edwin Garcia. Jennifer Garcia. Melissa Garcia. Tanila Gary. Adriana Gibson. Christopher Godoy. Darlene Gomez Lopez. Catherine Gonzalez. Maria Gonzalez. Nestor G Gonzalez. Tressa Govan. Katera Graham. Zajira Graves. James Green. Olivia Green. Jalen Green. Nikeria Grigsby Thomas. Mara Jade Gross. Marlene Guerrero. Christian Guevara. Giselle Gutierrez. Kenny Gutierrez Marcos. Andrea Guzman. Crystal Guzman. Rolando Guzman. Kanan Hall. Kalia Hall. Nieva Hall. Aiden Hapner. Kaylee Harrington.
Jayla Harris. Nevea Harris. Savannah Hatfield. Erica Hernandez. Liz Hernandez. Madeline Hernandez. Nathaniel Hill. Emmanuel Hoover. Lenise Hughes. Renasia Hughes. Isaiah Heiser. Jeremy Irby. David Jackson. Natasha Jackson. Vanity Jackson. Zanira Jackson. Aldami Jimenez. Nathan Johnson. Destiny Jordan. David Judge. So King. Kiara King. Keaton King. Michael King. Shayana Kirori. Camriana Laster. Dang Min Lee. Adolfo Leal. Addy Leper. Jennifer Liu. Adriana Lopez. Alejandro Lopez. Jaina Lopez. Jocelyn Lopez. Manuel Lopez. Darius Lyons. Adrian Macon. Deshay Macon. Edgar Magana. Katie Maldonado. Jacob Marball. Delilah Marion. Cameron Martinez. Diana Martinez. Jacqueline Martinez. Sean Mason.
November, May. Jackson McGinnis. Nathaniel Miller. Stariana Miller. Michael Monterroso del Cid. Erica Montes. D. Mu. Ashmandi Morales Valenzuela. Jaden Morris. Patrick Mudd. Etatre Na. Jaden Nathan. Austin Nyblick. Maya Niemeyer. Cesar Nino. David Norman. Javier Nunez. Andrew Oaks. Parker Offhouse. Sierra Ojeda. Marcus Oki. Betsaida Olivia. Ong Mu. Mong U. Arleth Pacheco Rodriguez. Samson Pacason. Jalen Parker. Joshua Patrick. Larcher Paul. Jeanette Payne. Antonia Perez Lewis. Guinevere Perrin. Devon Perry. Keytron Phillips. Zamari Phillips. Paola Piedra. Sergio Pisano. Charles Powell. Draymond Pyle. David Quintana. Quintana. 
Jairo Rangel. Eva Radacek. Aquileo Reducindo. Susana Reyes. Atalia Reina. Amoni Ridley. Christian Riley. Saúl Robles. Alejandro Rodríguez. Jasmine Rodríguez. Rangel Romero. Alejandro Romero. Miguel Romero. Nancy Romero. Diego Rosales. Maverick Rowe. Amia Russell. Ewu Sa. Leonardo Saldana. Connor Sasson. Nathan Sedano. Nasli Serrano. Tamarion Sewell. Priyaja Shelton Gentry. Aiden Shiflet. Nayana Smith. Yehova Solis. Mariela Solis. Daniel Soto. Armand Spicer. Spicer <laughs> Jordan Sprague Chance Strong Lorenz Tabron Cameron Thompson. All men do. Marco Toledo. Ruth Torres 
Andrés Delgado. Delgado. Y Manuel Torres Hernández. Ariel Torres Caranza. Ariel Trotter. Andrea Vargas. Emily Vasquez. Jessica Vasquez. Corbin Viola Thompson. Rebecca Vidal. Juan Villalobos. Ariana Ward. Davian Ware. Jaden Ware. Camden Washington. Omarion Can I aware? Camden Washington. Omarion Washington. Jada Waters. Savannah Wadby. Josiah Waxton. Tanaja Wells. Bryant White. Jordan White. Arion Williams. Rashanti Williams. Tyler Williams. Anissa Wilson. D'Antonio Wilson. Adriana Wolfram. Logan Worthman. Tremaine Wright. Avant Yard. Avania Young. Catherine Saldana Diaz. Melissa Zavala. Eric Zavaleta. Deja Jones.
before we end tonight's program, I would also like to recognize two graduating seniors who are representing Southside in the state track meet today in the 4x100 event that could not be here tonight. Those two are Daquan Ganaway and Davion Gentry. Again, can we give all of our seniors one more round of applause, please? <laughs> seniors, this is the moment we've been waiting for. I'm going to have you all stand, please. All of our seniors stand. As your final high school assignment, Please turn your tassel from the right to the left. You are officially the 101st graduating class of Southside High School. Congratulations. <laughs>